quietly for a lot of us. San Francisco and Marin feeling this 3.6 earthquake this morning. And Darren, you have been tracking some of it. We're hearing that this was on the San Andreas Fault. What can you tell us? Well, that map that we just showed right off the top here a minute ago, you saw that straight red line running through it. That was the San Andreas. So in one sense, we could think of this as very good news because a 3.6 is minor. And a 3.6 means it relieved a little bit of pressure on the San Andreas Fault. Let's talk about who felt this because there's a specific way we can actually determine where this was felt. The USGS puts together a map that highlights where reports have come in and they're all color coded on the map behind me. And you can see the areas of light blue on here. That tells you where people said they felt this earthquake lightly at most. Let's go into some of the specifics on it though. A 3.6 centered right here. You can see the blinking bullseye out there. And just to kind of put it in perspective, that sits just about six and a half to seven seven miles exactly due west of the Golden Gate Bridge. So it was like if you were sailing out under the Golden Gate Bridge, about five to six miles out there, it's like directly south of Muir Beach. That's where the epicenter was. The San Andreas Fault runs right underneath that part of the Pacific Ocean. Look at all the area shaded in here, whether it's in the city, the peninsula, Marin, even some in the East Bay here reported that they did feel this lightly. But if you were inland or any farther north than say the southern edge of Sonoma or down into Santa Clara County, you didn't feel it at all, at least we're not getting any reports. And thankfully, most importantly, no reports of damage from this one. I'll be back with